day is always the day of trying to remember, remember where I put all my gear. morning in saw about a 125 nine point this morning just too young I wasn't gonna shoot a young deer so uh, we're back on the creek bottom here we're gonna go sit they just dropped us off we're gonna sit the rest of the day it's lunch just after lunch so 12 31 o'clock we're gonna go sit in this tent blind and uh, you know it looks it's on a food plot bucks are starting to push does so we're hoping for the best here in Kentucky excitement and uh, I, th I hit him in the lever. I'm not gonna push him. We're gonna back out. I'm not pushing him. That's a good buck. Good Kentucky buck. I'll tell you what, we just backed out. That deer came in early, like I think before four o'clock and uh, you saw it unfold and the wind was going right to him but the Ozonics did its job and he gave me a shot but I thought it was perfect, but in the heat of the moment, I'm a hunter, I got excited. His angle wasn't perfect, I think he was slightly quarter two, and the arrow came out back, so I think it's more of a liver than a lung hit. When he went up the hill, I thought he was going to fall down, he didn't. I watched him and watched him and watched him, and then he walked off, and uh, there is no reason, I've learned from experience, there is no reason to push this deer. We're going to have beautiful weather tonight, it's going to be cool tonight, no rain in the forecast. We're letting him go. I hate sleeping on these deer, but there's no reason to push this deer and lose it. This is where he stood and I tried to do a follow-up and shot under him. And look right this way.
keeping it real on the experience here um you know there's no i'm not hiding anything the bottom line is i knew i made a marginal shot we tracked that deer for a couple hundred yards lost blood but we let him lay overnight and unfortunately we found him laying in a fence row still alive looking back i think greg filmed the follow-up and uh i made it, it was a little high the follow-up but it got the lungs and you know hunter and i just went through followed the blood trail and he's laying up here dead so um, man, I'm, I'm uh, praising God that we found this deer, but it just goes to show you in bow hunting, you're a hero or a zero within a fraction of an inch. I thought I had a heart shot, went to, oh no, he's liver shot, went to overnight, get up in the morning, come here, he's laying in the fence row and he's still alive. So bow hunters beware, it, this sport is not for everybody, and if I didn't tell you I was ready to give up bow hunting uh, this week with all the poor shots, I, I'd be lying to you but uh, it is a part of hunting. It's the most traditional part of hunting and you never give up. That's a hell of a deer. <laughs> look at the neck. That is a great- Look at the mass on the base. Look at the, uh, that is a great Kentucky buck. Man, I'll tell you what, we're happy in Kentucky.